So the new trailer for Godzilla x Kong The New Empire has released and it looks fantastic. Now I'm not going to do a whole breakdown of each shot of the trailer because I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers are already going to do that. But still, in this video I'm going to give my views and thoughts on the trailer and talk about some of the shots in this film that really intrigue me. The first shot that intrigues me was this shot of Godzilla going through this bridge and giving us a beautiful shot of his pink eyeballs. Godzilla looks terrifying in this shot but he also looks determined. One part I really liked about this trailer was a callback to the first Godzilla vs Kong, where Gia and Kong interacted by touching fingers, very similar to how they did in GVK. This next shot shows Gia with a classic spiral zoom behind her, and she sees what looks to be Godzilla's dorsal plates on the screen, though it could be a very different monster. This shot also reveals feathers falling around Gia in this some sort of hallucination. I can't think of any kaiju that has feathers in the monsterverse, but this could very well be Mothra trying to interact with Gia about a certain threat. Now I don't know how I feel about a feathery Mothra, but you never know. It could be handled really well. It might not even be Mothra doing all this, but it is possible. During Gia's hallucination, she sees this some sort of vision, which includes Godzilla in this blue thermonuclear-like state, which I'm going to talk later on more in this video. There's also this shot of what I believe is the final battle of the film. The reason I say that is because we have evolved Godzilla, but we also have our very first look at Shimo, which, from what the leaks say, is the very first Titan. And towards the middle of the screen, it looks to be King Kong and Scar King battling. Now this could either be some sort of Hollow Earth energy, or Kong's Beast Glove, which we're also going to talk about later in this video. We also get this shot of Shimo's eyes, which looks strikingly similar to Godzilla when he uses his atomic breath. We also got this shot of Kong looking up in the sky and looking actually angry at what's coming up. Now this could be a couple of Mothras, but realistically I think it's more of those vulture things that we saw in the first GVK. We then come to this absolutely epic shot of Godzilla in this blue thermonuclear-like state. Now, I don't know for certain if this is a thermonuclear state. I'm only saying that because it has similar patternings. The only difference is that it's blue and less glowy. So as to what's actually happening to Godzilla here, I don't really know, but it looks cool, so I'm just going to go with it. The director of this film, Adam Wingard, did confirm that there would be different versions of Godzilla. And looking at this, we can tell that he was not kidding. Then, after a cool Hollow Earth entrance shot, a cool Kong entering said Hollow Earth entrance shot, and an especially cool shot of Bernie, we get shots of Scar King and King Kong battling it out. And it's really cool to see Scar King utilise his Bone Whip, which also appears to have this glowing crystal at the end of it. Now this could either be a crystal from Shimo, or maybe it could be a crystal formed from the Hollow Earth itself. And from this shot, we can see that Scar King is actually taller than Kong, but this angle makes it a bit difficult to tell. And after we see King Kong looking flabbergasted, we're greeted with a shot of Shimo's eyes from earlier, and we also get a hint of Shimo's ice breath, which Kong uses his axe to defend against. There's a shot in this trailer that actually shows King Kong and Godzilla battling it out. Now as to why they're fighting, I don't know, but Adam Wingard did confirm that they're more frenemies than friends. Like one of the characters in this film says, they don't have to like each other, they just have to work together. We then get this epic shot of Kong literally punching Scar King in the face, literally causing a tooth to fly out because of the impact. And one thing about this shot that is hard to notice is that Scar King is actually holding Suko, or in other words, King Kong's new adopted son. Or at least I'll think he'll be anyway. After a shot of King Kong sporting his new beast glove, we get this really sick piece of kaiju action with Scar King using his whip to wrap onto a building, rip the top of the building off, and throw it to Kong, to which Kong uses the Beast Glove to smash the building. And then we finally get this amazing shot of Godzilla and King Kong roaring in the sky. Overall, I think this trailer is a lot better than the first one that we got. It gives us a better idea of the story, a better glimpse of the action in this film, and it looks to be the most outlandish, epic MonsterVerse film yet. But, what did you think about this trailer? Comment down below your thoughts on it, and what was your favourite shot in the trailer? We don't have to wait long guys, March 29th, it's not that far.